Hi, uh, today I'm going to be going through my 3D printed planetary gear bearing design that I made using Fusion 360. Um, so here it is all done. Let me uh, go back to the beginning and I will show you how I did it. So three primary sketches make up the design. Here's the first one. This is the base layer. Um, this is the very bottom of the bearing. Um, you can see small gaps in between where the teeth of the gears fit together. Um, and this is all done in sketches that are defined parametrically in parameters in Fusion. Um, so this next sketch is the midpoint of the bearing. So you can see the teeth of the gear um, rotate from the first sketch to the second sketch. This third sketch is the midpoint between the first two sketches. Um, you'll see in a second this is used um, for lofting um, between the first two. So here in this next sketch, I made arcs that connect between the first and second sketch with the third sketch as the midpoint between the arcs. Those were 3D arcs. Um, these are used in a loft as rails to create a circular cross section so that the gears fit together cleanly. So there's where the lofts, and now you can see where I mirrored them to create the actual teeth for the gears. I combined to make them solid bodies. Um, then I made a circular pattern and combined those as well for each of the gears. So here you can see I made the axis along the planet gear to then create a circular pattern around and then combine to make one solid body. And then I did the same thing for the outside. and then I patterned the planets as well. So that's it. Um, so here's the design. Um, the nice thing about it though is that it's parametric. So I was able to modify it and make changes um, very easily to make different size versions. This last one here um, was a part for one of my other projects um, that I was able to make quite easily. So now I'll walk through how I'm able to modify the parametric design. So here you can see the parameters. The first thing I'll change is the diameter of the sun gear. So you can see um, it got bigger, but the issue is that the teeth are too small. Um, so I modified the teeth to get a little bigger, and now it looks correct. You'll notice that max tooth length is a calculated parameter that tells you the maximum length of the teeth that will work for the calculation. So here I'm going to change the number of gears or the number of teeth in the sun gear. Um, you can see it gets pretty messed up, um, but again that's partly because of that maximum tooth length. You see it's 1.37. I'm going to change it to 1.3, and it's going to look a little better. It's still kind of messed up. I will fix that up in a second. I'm going to change the number of planets as well. Let's try six. And 12, just for fun. So here now I'll 
fix up some of those issues we ran into before. Um, Fusion can be a little fragile with the constraints I notice, um, especially when I'm changing the number of bodies or making um, major design changes parametrically. So you can see um, these uh, coincident constraints got connected to the wrong side of the circle. So I'll just move that over and reapply the constraint. And I'll need to do that for this other sketch as well. This doesn't always happen, um, but it does sometimes. But it's a pretty easy fix. It's definitely faster than starting a whole new design if I wanted to create a similar um, bearing. And then it looks like there's one more thing I need to fix. Um, that arc right there um, somehow ended up going the wrong way. So I'll just draw another one right here. All right, now I'm just going to fix this loft that's giving us the air. And I'm gonna add this arc as a new rail. Good, now I can move it through the design. Um, I'll have to fix up these combine functions though because I am changing the number of teeth. Um, the previous combine only took account um, the old number of teeth, so I'll just need to do it again. I like to hide the other bodies so that it's easier to select. for the planet. Um, I actually did not change the number of teeth in this, so it's all set. Now the outer ring. All right, and that's it. Now you've got your new designed parametric bearing for your other use case. You can also go in and change the height. Most of these parameters are very easy to change without actually screwing anything up. It's really just the number of teeth and the number of planets sometimes that you need to go through and fix things. And I can change the border radius as well. This is nice if you need to fit in a specific place. You can make the height real short. Again, this one is, is pretty easy to change. And I'll just change it back. But yeah, I mean, that's about it. Um, I'll probably upload some other videos in the future that explain how I use this design.